Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi, and I'm super excited to kick off this third installment of the Pastelloween collab with Scrap Passion 01, and I have to say, week one, week two, all of the participants and the ladies in this collaboration killed it. And I will leave links down below to all of their YouTube and Instagram pages and I'm so excited. Um, don't forget to follow along. They will be hosting their own giveaways on their channels. I will be hosting a giveaway as well and next week I will be unveiling my giveaway. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos and to my channel and let's get started. So week three could not be complete without a resin project because you know if you've been following along with my channel I've been obsessed with resin. <laughs> so if quarantine has got me crazed about anything, it has been resin. So I'm super excited. I did make a couple of jewelry pieces as well, but I needed to make a couple of fun resin pieces to have in my stash because, um, yeah, it's pastelloween and I wanted to combine my new fabe obsession and totally recreate some fun pieces. And these are using some sequins. Um, the key to making these is really just putting a thin layer on um, when you're laying down your sequins. So I put a thin layer of clear and then um, I'll let it cure. You can let it cure for 12 hours, but I let it cure for a day and then I'll go in and put a second coat of the color and I just love how crystal clear the sequin pieces are and so pretty again a great way to use um, your sequins so build in my stash and then from there I created a couple of um, coasters and these are actually following a tutorial from the nice Yuna, and I'll leave a link down to her page below. She is really such a talented resin artist. She has her own shop as well, but I followed, watch her video, and again, this is nowhere near her level, but I was super excited to create this on my own, and um, this actually took like almost a week to make because I had to do all of these different layers and I painted these flowers, these squiggles. There are some acetate in the back that's giving that shimmer. Super pretty. And I love how, like, gothic and beautiful at the same time it is. Again, I'm going to be using this as a jewelry tray. I'm super excited to just have made something so, I don't know, it's kind of a big deal that I've made this. And I am no artist, but at least I can follow a tutorial. <laughs> So I'm super excited to have accomplished that. And then I went to Charms with some of the resin pieces that I created. So here's a ghosty that I had created and I put some shaker bits in this and then I just hung it on a little dangle. Again, super cute. And here's one of those sequence hearts that I made and I just put it on a little dangle here super cute these keychains are ready to go and then you guys i made a mask holder so i wanted to make something i wanted to make a couple of like jewelry pieces for this pastelloween collab because i've also been really into making um i have all these beads so i might as well make jewelry <laughs> so i did make this mask holder again i used some different beads that i had in my stash i wanted to give it a little bit of texture so i went um, I alternated the different beads that I can use. Again, I've been using this and I love this mask holder. Honestly, new life and, you know, it's kind of a necessity. So this is also now a new necessity for me and I could do it stylish in these pastelloween colors. So I'm super excited to have made that. And then I made a little bracelet. I did use, I'm just going to get the two pearls that I used. I did use these pearls and these are from Prima and they are Frank Garcia line. Um, again, look at these colors. How pretty are these? I'll leave links down below to these items and honestly, they are such high quality pearls. So I loved 
I needed to make a bracelet. I needed to make a pastelloween vibe-ish bracelet. And again, I used a lot of the different colors. I used this iridescent bead that I had in my stash. I think I purchased this from Michael's. And then I just added some gold elements because, you know, why not? I did add this black butterfly because, you know, we need to keep it a little bit spooky. And I purchased it off Alley, and then I added this little itty bitty star. And again, this is such a super cute piece, and I'm obsessed. This is not resin, but I wanted to show the different charms that I have been making. And these are the little bottle caps that I had purchased from Allie. And again, I just put some jump rings on them so they can be ready to go on a project. I did do a die cut of different, um, I guess, images for my paper pads. And I added some glossy accents on top just to give it that shimmer. These I got, I put a little bit of, um, what are these, little enamel dots super cute i love these and these are ready to go on a project and then i just did a little bit of um dangles it says boo and this is a little scully that i bought from michael's from a bead pack and i just added this little spider i did paint his eyes black only because i wanted more of a jack skellington look versus just a skull and super cute these berry beads are adorable i'm obsessed and then let's see. Oh, so this is my pride and joy. And I'm super excited to show you what I've created. So I'm not sure if you hauled this probably last year or two years ago, this vignette tray from Tim Holtz and this coffin tray. It's just, it's nice. It's a good piece. It's a plain, but I altered this bad boy and I'm so excited to show you what I created. And here we go. Look at this beauty. I'm sorry for the shine. I can't help it. It is double coated with resin. And again, this was, this is my pride and joy of this Pastelloween collaboration. I've never done anything like this before. And to alter a wood piece with resin and I'm like obsessed. I like basically look at all of these wood pieces and just say, can I add resin to this? <laughs> I, I can, but um, I just I love how this came out. Um, so I did paint the whole tray in black paint. And then um, I, I went and did two coats of resin. So on this top layer, I went with a purple kind of finish and then I went with a gold alcohol ink sorry I'm trying to get the glare where it doesn't blind you um, I went with a gold alcohol ink and kind of did a swirl technique just to give it that um, to give it that finish right and then these little spiders here not one I made actually it's from the Michaels kind of a sticker pack that they had every Halloween and I love that creepy, crawly, sparkly black spider look climbing up. And this is a boot that my friend Olga, for the love of craft, has had given me. Had given me, and I love it. I think it just gives it that little spooky look. And again, I made this with a kind of like a jewelry tray that I wanted to keep on my table. I think it's so fabulous and the best part is is that I made it um, this back oh god I have to show you so this is a um, Prima not pr Prima Finnebear Finnebear opal magic paint and the color is violet green violet green and if you look on the bottom it really just looks green um, and I wasn't really know I wasn't sure what to expect, but when I used, I used one of these stencils and I had purchased this from the Dollar Tree and I used, uh, it's put away, but I used one of the polka dot ones and I just went and dabbed it to give it like a little bit of a, I don't know, just kind of a different look to the back because I didn't want to keep it so plain. And I, since I did a technique here, I wanted to do a different technique on the back and no one's going to see the back, but. I know it's finished and I went with this opal paint and 
look how it finished. It finished with this really pretty purple. And it may look like this um, this back is there's a whole bunch of bubbles, but actually the, it is a super fine holographic glitter. I'm not sure if you can see it in the in the light that I went and I sprinkled as I poured the resin. So I just went with a clear coat of resin to give it to finish it. I wanted this piece to be sturdy and kind of like waterproof, if you want to say. And I did line the sign with this beautiful fringe trim that I bought from Target many, many years ago. And then I went with these little Michael's pearls on the side because, you know, I needed to keep it pastelloween and light and super pretty. And I'm so excited. I think this is really my pride and joy of this collaboration. And oh, I think that's it, you guys. I'm super excited to have completed this and I was really excited to show everyone what I've been making and that is all for my project share you guys stay tuned for all of the ladies in our collaboration tomorrow is another day and I am excited to watch everyone's creations thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye for now